Okay, so why do I want to start the video from the back of the car? Because I can. <laughs> and what's up peeps? Welcome back to my channel, JR here. So you guys already saw the video title. You guys want to know more details about the Toyota Yaris 2021. All the goods, the bads, the ugly, and the nitty gritty stuff that probably your Toyota salesman won't tell you about. <gasps> Or you're already in the market for the Toyota Yaris 2021 and you're already considering the car or probably you guys want to do a little comparison between the two hottest hatchback in the Malaysian market right now. This and the Honda City hatchback. This video will be very helpful for you. And let's go. Okay now, let me start with the good stuff first. Since I'm really at the back of the car, one of the good stuff of this car is that it gives full-size spare tyre you know nowadays car makers how many car makers can say that they give full-size spare tyres right oh yeah one thing is that this is the e-spec so a little note whatever details that I'm about to tell you is pretty much applicable to this e and the higher variant G because why both of the models is virtually 95% the same and I would advise you to get this e-spec and I already made another video to explain why I'm going to put the links down below Okay, moving on with other good stuff of the car. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this is my favorite angle and the view of the car. Can you guys see? So sexy, so elegant. Just that the difference between this and the Vios is that butt part there. Okay, anyway, just to give you guys a little detail, right? Let me just cover this. And as you guys can see, this car is almost a year old. Just so you guys know, we got this car on day one launch. And according to the Toyota salesperson, we are among the first to get the car. Lah. So yeah, one year ownership, almost one year ownership of the car. Anyway, another good stuff for the car. Super comfortable, super comfortable suspensions. I don't know what Toyota did to the suspensions. Goes through bumps, goes through humps, everything holds. Malaysia bumpy road very comfortable no problem and also the mvh even on high speeds it is very very praiseable wow is that even a word praiseable very comfortable and also the fuel tank okay yeah talking about the fuel tank uh, so this one um on yellow light it fills up at 32 33 liters so 32 33 liters can go up to roughly about 400 to 450 for our driving pattern lah. Depending on your pattern, probably your result may vary. So yeah, that is also one very good stuff. Super fuel efficient. And also, since I'm here, see, this one is very important because why? This E-Spec and also the G-Spec, full safety Toyota features. And also, yeah, just a little, yep, that's the camera there. Let me tell you, uh, this Toyota safety feature, full set, uh, full set, uh, literally full set. Uh, it has the blind spot monitor, it has the front collision warning and all that, right? Is working okay why i say that because uh, there is several incidents uh, which you know the car sometimes uh, okay I, I i have to admit uh, i sometimes not the best driver so sometimes i'm too close to the car in front and then almost want to bang when almost on the bang this car helps break it so it is a very super thumbs up from me yeah that is i think that is all uh, pretty much the good stuff about the car now oh hello doc the following that one I'm about to tell you is all the bad, the dirty, the nitty gritty stuff about the Toyota Yaris 2021. So if you guys are a fan, a big fan of the Toyota Yaris, you know, coming from the fan club and all that, or you guys already own the car or love the car that you don't want to know too many details about the car, you guys can stop watching here. Thanks you guys for so watching, I'll see you in the next video, bye! But if you guys are one of those, like me, want to know everything about the car, continue watching. Now the bad stuff. Since I'm at the back of the car again, let me start off with the back of the car. Well, everybody knows to unlock the car is button here. But let me give you another example. Uh. So let's say uh, you're in the car. You would like to, let's say you're already sitting in, cars locked, everything, right? You want to let someone load in whatever thing while you're sitting in and comfortably in your aircon. Okay? How? How? Because that is locked. So you see, uh, as far as I know, uh, there is no button to open the hatch. I don't see any buttons here. No button to open the hatch. Nothing here. So yeah, if you wanna, let's say, let people open the back, you need to go down, either open for them or you pass them the key to open. Otherwise, this is gonna be locked. Yes, that is one bad thing. 
Moving on to the next bad thing. Okay, be prepared, yeah. Be prepared, yeah. It is this ugly hunk of a uh, armrest thingy. You see how much space does it occupy from the back? It is just ridiculous. I don't know why Toyota designed it like this. Not that it, it is nice looking. It is not even functional. I don't know why. You see, uh, when I'm sitting in, uh, okay, my leg is here. Oh, by the way, uh, the seats is very comfortable. No issues, but uh, uh, there. There you go. My feet is not comfortable. It's going to hit this stupid armrest here. And because the armrest is so far back, the passenger or driver, sorry, cannot comfortably put your arms here while driving. This is my regular driving position. As I drive, when I want to put my arms, my arms will be in a very back awkward position. Stupid design, stupid design Toyota. Please, next iteration, no more. Okay, so a lot of the stuff is going to be inside of the car. Let me just start the engine and start. Now, the first bad thing about the inside will be the steering. Okay, the steering itself is no problem. The button is all functioning well, feels good, the pon pon is okay, but the adjustability of the steering. So you see, uh, I want to try to... Uh, okay. So try to adjust it is only up and down, which is very bad. You cannot do front and back. So you see, yeah, I tried, cannot. So you cannot do front and back. So that would affect, for me personally, will affect my absolute proper driving position. In order to get my proper driving position, because I don't have the longest leg, so in order to push forward, I would need to adjust the seats instead of bringing the steering forward. So that would make my knees bend more. Just saying, uh, if I can move the steering in front, probably my seat won't be as front. So I'm going to push the seat behind because I can move the steering front. So probably I can reach. See? Since I'm already at the steering, the next bad thing is there is no option for pedal shifters. Regardless the E or the G, there is no pedal shifters. You know, for probably some of you guys driving enthusiasts or you guys want to have a little bit spirited drive with this Toyota Yaris, you know, because it's a hatchback and you know, it has all the looks to go fast and all that, right? But you don't have the option to do this. Yeah, lah, that is bad. Speaking of options, ah, ini. Ini kerusi. There is no ladder options. Regardless, you go for the highest spec even. There is no ladder option. You will start with this. So whatever I'm sitting here is the same as the G. Mm -hmm. The next bad stuff is I have to describe from the behind. So, you see. You see. Pretty much it. This is all the compartments that you get from the interior of the Yaris. Usually car nowadays, right? This big portion part here, there is like a compartment slot where you can put in stuff. There's like a drawer sort of a design, right? This one don't have, it's like a flat slab there. So you see, uh, if I have, let's say, another Starbucks drink, where do I put? You think put there? Uh? That one is saying it one, you know, you see? It's saying it. Okay, uh, that it's good is that the size is big, you can put a 100 plus bottle there. But it's saying it. So if I have another drink, let's say I tapau. You know, nowadays people tapau, right? Where do you put? So you have to sacrifice that space. So I need to remove those and put where? Put where? Put there. Or you see, I'm gonna unload stuff. Let's say I come in the car. Where do I put my bag? This is my regular go-to bag lah. So when I come in the car, right, I have to put here. So if there's someone sitting here, where do I put my bag? You tell me. Okay lah. You can say that the drawer. The drawer is usually full. Let me just double check, right? Yeah, it's usually full, full with random stuff like tissues, mask, smart tech, whatever, you know. So, yeah, what I want to say is that, right, the compartments for the Yaris, right, could be better, could be better. Um, you could say this one, this one is pathetic, la, you see. I mean, can fit, but, right, can barely, la, can barely, la. literally can barely, la, okay. I would want to say, right, the compartment uh, arrangement or design of Toyota Yaris could be better. Let me just say, uh, it applies to the Vios also, uh, because the Vios also has the same, oh my god, focus. The Vios also has the same problem, don't have a proper design for compartments. It could be better, uh, you know. This one has so much space here, probably they can put two more cup holes here to put your cups. Or just leave a big space here. This one, maybe put it there. I don't know how they want to design that, okay? But I just want to say that the compartment design here is very, very bad. 
And the next bad thing is this part. Can you guys see? Hello, super highly reflective. This piano black trim, piano black glossy trim, piano black glossy trim. Yes, why I want to say because this, all this piano black trim is super easily scratchable. Just to show you guys, right, there is already one there. And the car is not even one year old. Already got some random scratch. Don't know how we can nah. And yeah, lah, just want to tell you guys that if you guys are having this car, probably you want to wrap it or just want to extra caution with the piano black trims. Lah. There's actually one more at the back here. Yeah, I don't know whether you can see, but there is also another one back here. Yeah. And before I go, probably a few honorable mentions. This one, yes, pre-installed Toyota dash cam is very good, right? But what if I want to install my own? Can you remove this and can Toyota refund me this while I install my own? Not too sure. Next, not LED bulbs, regular yellow bulbs for the lights here and the lights here. What the hell, Toyota? And next is this visor. Yep, very nice, right? Got mirror, but Mana Lampu, can you guys see? It's super dark. Mana Lampu for a car of this caliber, this segment. Tak ada lampu. There is a mirror, but tak ada lampu, right? Okay, back in the driver's seat. Oh yeah, this part here. So you guys can see, uh, Toyota is kind enough to provide a little compartment here to put your literally cards. Uh, if you put your coins, it's going to rattle a lot. Put your cards, but remember to shut this. Otherwise, uh, you're going to have random bruises like me. Uh, Gonna out your feet a lot of times. Uh. So yeah, there you go. I hope you guys find this video helpful, insightful about the Toyota Aris. 2021. Despite all of the goods and the bads that I've mentioned just now, would I personally recommend to you guys that are already surveying for this Yaris 2021? I would say it is a big fat goal for me. Yes, despite all of the nitty picky stuff, right? Actually, as a whole, it is a good car, but you know, there are areas of improvements. Probably the next version will be better, hopefully. But as of today, as of driving this car for for that long, it is actually a very good car. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, just wanna add lah, all opinions in this video is of my own, not related to Toyota. Thank you. There you go, that's all for now. Thanks you guys so much for watching. If you guys have a content, don't give me a... I'll see you guys in my next video. Ciao.